Courgette and carrot spaghetti done in the time it takes for the pasta to cook. You will need spaghetti, cream cheese, one courgette, one carrot, a couple of cloves of garlic, a little bit of, well, I've got red Leicester, but you can have cheddar or whatever else you've got hanging around in the fridge. Kitchen kit, a grater, one knife, peeler, wooden spoon, metal spoon, tongs, pan, a colander, a big frying pan, if you've got it. You can always go back to the pasta pan if you haven't. First thing you need to do, get your saucepan full of water, bring it up to the boil and put a lid on because it will help it come to the boil much quicker. The water's up to the boil. One packet of pasta, 500 gram packet. There we go. And just drop it in and you'll think it doesn't all fit in the pan. But don't worry, grab a fork, and you can push it in. It will be around about eight to 10 minutes just enough time to make the sauce to go with it. Peel the outside of the carrot, take the skin off, and top and tail it. And then, with your peeler, create lovely ribbon-like strips. We're gonna do exactly the same thing to the courgette as well. When you get down to that middle core, I mean, that's just about it. What we're trying to do here is to add sneaky vegetables into your lovely, simple, cheesy pasta dish. The difference between us making it and buying it out of a jar is you don't get all of that lovely goodness in a jar. And if you look how much that is, that is one courgette and one carrot. The next thing for a little bit of flavor, two cloves of garlic. Roughly chop it, not super fine, it's all about flavor. So, pretty much ready to go, apart from a bit of cheese. I'm gonna need about 100 grams. I'm just gonna check me pasta. So what you're looking for when it's cooked is if you give it a little squish, it should break off quite easily. Now, I need some of this pasta water, okay, because I need that to create the sauce to bind everything together. Get yourself a mug, one with a handsome chap on like that. Dip it in your cooking pasta, about half full. Keep it to one side. Then drain the pasta in the colander, back to the stove. Put your frying pan onto the heat, little splash of oil. The sliced garlic goes into that oil. And just as it's beginning to bubble, add your veggies. The green of those courgettes looks like it's coming alive. It begins to shine and sing. Then a good splash, maybe about three or four tablespoons of the pasta water, half a tub of your cream cheese. Just stir it in. I mean, this looks good enough to eat without adding the pasta to it. And just as that cream cheese melts down, add in your grated cheese. Put the pasta back into the big pan. And then all of this lovely, gorgeous goodness. I'm just gonna add that and then with a pair of tongs, if you've got them, you just slowly work that courgette and the carrot all the way through the pasta. The great thing about pasta is you get so much for your money and it takes on flavors so well. Now that is a proper lovely tea done in 10 or 12 minutes. But I tell you what, do me a favor, don't open a jar of sauce. Well done guys, congratulations, another meal done. Listen, let me know how you've got on using the hashtag full time meals and follow the page where there's loads more recipes.